is Josh Mansky. In this video, I'm going to be telling you, talking about how to create um, a MD data table. Um, so let's just get started. So basically, MD data table is just a table, uh, a, a table um, in KVMD that can show you um, a number of like you know things. Um, basically, just lists of things in table. Um, pretty simple. Um, so basically, but first, you have to have PyCharm, like I say in all my videos, you're going to have to have PyCharm, and then for this one, you're going to have to install Kivi, just do pip install Kivi, it's going to do that, and then you're going to have to also install KVMD, let's see if I can find where I did that, same thing, just pip install KVMD, it's right here, pip install KVMD, same thing, I'll give you all this, and then it'll say successfully install KVMD, blah, 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 and you're done with that. Okay, so now let's move on. So basically, once you do that, you're going to have to import some things from KVMD. So you're going to, you know, you can just copy all this, and this is basically what you're going to import. You're going to import MD apps so you can create an app. Um, and then you're going to import the screen so you can actually, you know, put a screen on there. And then you're going to have to, um, import this uh, data table so the, you can create the data table and then db dp is just um so basically dp is is how or is like how big you want this to be so this is just saying so these are my okay so basically it's just like it's how big do you want the text to be that's it can be like do it a little weird it's just dp it's just um it's yeah basically just how many pixels and stuff like that okay so once you've done that, once you basically just copy that, and then it'll be set. And so now you've got you have to write your class MD app um, to build self, and then you have to put screen. So we're just saying this, that our screen is going to be equal to you know this is just a function screen. That's what I'm importing up here, and then tab table is equal to MD data table. We imported the MD data table up here, and then it allows you to do this. So this is the data table. Um, so basically, I mean this. So you can see that this is all like this parentheses encompasses all of the. Or, uh, so it's like you know it starts from here and goes down to here. So this is all part of it. So like you know I, I you know I could technically just go like let's see if I can do this. I think. I can technically just go like that, make like space. You know, like these could all be part. You know, and then bring this up, up to here if I wanted to. I could definitely just go like all that. You know, just have this all in a giant list. You know, but for you know for conciseness or just to make it basically just look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I just go like this, right? But this is all part of this, um, like the 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 parameters for this list. So you have your position hint, but saying center x, right? Um, it's just defining, so this is basically, it's just saying like, so using 0.5, so position hint, me, but when I say hint, it's basically saying like, point f like where do I want the center X, where do I want that to start? And that's 0.5, which means like, 0.5 means like halfway through the screen, no matter what the size of the screen is, halfway through it. The position hint and size hint are just used, the it can be, it's not like a hard, you know, number. Like, I want this to be at two, 200, you know. You know, I want to, you know, uh, no, it's, it's you know, it's halfway through. I want the center of it to be halfway through. And then top is, I want the top of it to start at 0 0.95. It's not the very, very top, but you, know, so you, can, you can mess around with these numbers depending on what you're looking for. Basically, yeah, you just write this. Um, this is just to help with position size. Is this, I want this to be. 0.95 of the width of the screen and 0.8 of the height of the screen. So it's just, I just kind of chose these numbers after looking at them a little bit and I liked how they looked. Okay. So then rows, that numbers, um, I set the variable equal to five and you have to write these variables. These are like the variables that MD takes. And there is a couple you can look at. If you go to the KVMD um, official website, you can see some, uh, there's some others, but these are the basic stuff, and then, so we can set row number five, so that's just how, you know, how many rows, you know, columns are this way, you know, up and down rows are side to side, so how many rows do you want, so I just said five, you can change that to whatever number you want, and then column data, so this creates a, um, a array, or I mean a list of, um, 
things of uh, basically like what what your columns want to be. So I just said so one column. So you know this way it's gonna have a title of hat, right? And then it's gonna be DP thirty. So it's gonna be thirty. You know it's gonna have a size of like thirty pixels. And then the shirt. You know they're all the same. So like this is just saying you know I want the title of this to, this column to be hat. I want the title of this sh you know this. Right, because just listing that basically is just saying I want the title of this, the, the second column to be shirt, and the title of the second, the third column to be pants, right? And then I don't want them all to be the same size. And then, so then you have this, you know, list, and then you have, you can go down to row data, and then you have this list, and you put in, you know, I want in this, you know, row, you know, across for, you know, for, or, you know, I want for this row, I want black, blue, and white. So, you know, I want my, so, you know, you, you would set up like hat and then black and then shirt and then blue and then pants and then white, you know what I mean? So basically that's what it's doing here. It's just saying for each row, what do you want? You know, so this is column one, column two, column three, column one, column two, column three, you know, etc. So this is just basically what it's just saying here. It's just what, for what row, what do you want in each place? And then once you get done with that, then you just finish off this uh, parentheses right here to close up this. So now you've defined both of your, um, you know, you have to find your table. So you have to add the widget to the screen, which is added the widget is just like add, basically adding this table to the screen so it will show it. And then you have to return the screen to finish this function, this build function off. And then you just have to do app, right, right, which is the name of your class app, you know, parentheses, parentheses, you know, you can add stuff in here, but this is for more complex things, don't need to talk about this right now, and then dot run, parentheses, parentheses. So now let's, sh I'll show you what we've just created. So this is what we've created, right? So the nice thing about KVMD tables is they are very, you know, you can do a lot of them, so if you have a big table or if you have a small, you know, size, you, you can scroll from side to side, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Right, and then you can scroll up and down if you have a ton of rows. So that's really nice. Something really nice about them. Um, and yeah, so so you can see that this is right. You can see the size hint and thing. It, it makes it so that the table, like you know, responds. That this table responds. You know, the size of it responds to where you want it to be. And you can see, like, like in the, you hover, you can't use this, you know, so, okay, you can see how, like, when I hover over, it changes color. You would think that maybe, okay, maybe you can use this and create a list of, like, screens. So I click on this, maybe it goes to a different screen. But you can't really do that with KVMD tables. You can do that with some other type of tables from just Kivi. Um, but I recommend not doing that um, because it just it makes it a lot more complicated. And it's just not, it's not actually the best way. Um, but yeah, basically this is a simple table. You can do more complex things, which I'll probably have in another video on later with, you know, like you can have a checks box and click a checkbox, you know, to say what you want. Um, but I ha I'll have a, vid a video on that a little bit later. Um, but if I don't, and if I don't, and you just want to know how to do it, then you can always just go to the KVMD um, official website and it will talk, it will talk about how to do it it isn't always the most straightforward but um i believe that you'll be able to figure it out um and also the check boxes isn't as as complicated it's just um yeah but this is basically what we created it's pretty cool um but i kind of want to show you a little bit how to incorporate this into um some more like how to because all right, this is, we didn't use any kivi code right we just had this, you know, we just had our regular code. So I'm going over here. So this is one of the apps I've created and it incorporates tables. So this is, you know, it has my tables. You can just recognize, you know, position hint, size hint, row numbers, column data, you know, all the stuff that we've already been talking about right here. It's just right here. But so uh, I just wanted to kind of show you how, if you wanted to incorporate this with some Kivi. Right, so I in this I have you know so I have my build function right here. I have an icon app, um, which is basically just so the self dot app. It is basically just using my Kiwi code right, Kiwi code up here where I've defined all of my like screens. It takes all the screens. Or you can see this is a t or this is a text field, but this is part of a screen. Right, this is my mass flow rate screen. Or you can go up here 
this is a volumetric flow rate screen. So I have all because this is a this is a physics app. So it just it, it gives you a bunch of physics equations and stuff. But part of it is that it gives you um, tables on different things for physics. So this is you know alphabet or this is you know showing you what letters go to with the, which Greek letters like that. And then this is you know a constant table. And then this is a units table, right? So if we look at so that's basically just what this is this self dot app is doing, and. And then this is just the title of the like the window. It's just giving you the title. And then we go down to here and you can look. So we have to when you do this, you have to add a self.constant table. We didn't over here here. We didn't have to add a self dot table. Like a self, right? You don't have to do that. And if you go over here, you'd have to add a self. Right. It doesn't you don't like if we do that. I think it will still work, it's just not required. Yeah, it still works, but it just it makes it more I, I concise for me. Uh, so you to, so you can basically we can see we're just you know defining our function or defining our table like we did, and then some of the, the changes though is right. We define all our tables, and then you have to we don't need actually this. Um. Okay. I told that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so but so then you have to. The reason you have to do that is so you can add um, down here, so you can add it to um, your screen manager basically. So for here, I took my app, so I have my app, which is uh, I'm building up here the self dot app. Um, and so basically, it's just saying going from self dot app to IDs so to screen manager. So this is um. I will have a, a video on screen manager, but basically you go self to IDs and IDs is just saying like what, um, like in Kivi, you can take an ID, which is just like giving a name to a certain like kind of like function, a Kivi function. So if we go here, I can show you ID. So this is giving you an ID. Like these all have IDs to like, so I can, you know, look at them. And I think if we go up to the top, you can find, uh, yeah, so this, um, we're, let's see if we can find the screen manager. Image. We've gone to pass it. It's right in here. Sorry, this is, um, it's right around here. If I can't find out, we don't need to look at it, but it would be a little helpful. I'll try one more thing. I guess we could just go command F. Um, but yeah, it's not the big deal. But basically, what IDs is saying is just that it's it's you know saying oh, we go back to our our thing. Um, let's see if we can get back up to it. This wasn't the best. Now I've lost track. This is, okay, sorry, I got a little distracted there. But IDs is basically just saying it's just. Um, it's giving the name, then our name is our screen manager, and from the screen manager function of Kivi, you can say get screen, and I want to get the constant screen. So basically, we can just go here, and we can get our constant screen, which is, um, we can go to constants, where it's right here, constants, and what we've done is we've actually gone up and defined it, Let's, see, let's actually just command F. Let's just say constants um, underscore screen. So see, up in our Kivi code, we've written a constant screen, and we said name as constant screen. So now let's see if we can go down. So like we've defined, you know, we've said a box layout. We just said ID is constant table. So that's what we're actually looking at. So yeah, and then we've actually defined the box layout as an orientation of the vertical, and it has a button, which I'll show you in a second. We just created the button. It's basically just a back button, um, with you know, so it has a position hint on release. This is um, this is content. You actually don't need this. This was just for testing. Um, yeah, so basically this is our constant screen. If we go back down to, um, so you have to add it to a list. 
And then if you go back down to here, and then I add the widget, and then like it, it, it gets a little complicated, but basically that's what I'm doing is I'm adding, I'm getting this screen, and then I'm going to IDs, and then we already saw the constant table ID, right? This is, and then it's taking the ID of the, of the constant table, and then it's adding the this, and then you just say add a widget, which is the constant table, and then it's adding what well, we go up back up to here, self dot constant table. So that's basically. So then this this whole thing is now it's at this added the constant table to my screen mirror to, to my list so that you can see it and and then you need to return the self dot app and then and then so this is all different parts and then if you go to the very bottom see if you can get to the very bottom it goes physics app um, dot run so I'm just running my app right just like we did but we're here just running the app and now. So I hope that you kind of saw what I'm doing there. I don't know if I explained it in the most clear manner, but I hope you kind of got a general idea of what is like of how to get a more complex app manager or you know a data table into a screen manager. And I'll, and I'll probably go a little bit more into. You probably understand more if you watch my video about screen managers, which should be up by the time this video comes out. Um, but if I just show you this, if I run it, it might, it'll take a second to load. But I'm just going to show you what it actually will look like with a table. We'll see if it will load. It's, it's, it's you know, a long, a very long code. It's going to take a, a second to load using Python. Okay, boom. Got our thing. So basically what I was talking about is it added, so I have other and other resources so it's going to other resources and it was basically what i was doing was adding it to my screen manager which was then adding it to here so that i could see a part of this list um right and i can go to constants or base units we'll go base units table um and then it takes a second to load but here this is you know and then you can look this is basically what we we're doing before right so it gave you a box layout get a set set the thing within that box layout but just basically what you know basically what we created before just a little bit different and then you have a back button i just used a back button so you can get back to here that's all i was doing so hopefully that puts you know what, what i was just talking about in the code a little bit more in context and now you can see a little bit hopefully you can get an insight into how you can incorporate them into a more complex setting um but yeah that's basically how to use um md data tables in in apps and with yes with python so i hope you found this video um interesting and learned something from this and yep thank you for watching